Hey, welcome back to the Docentric Advanced Functional Training video series. In this video, we will present the Docentric Standard Placeholders. Standard placeholders are report-specific. They are implemented in the report-specific DSP classes. Docentric SSRS replica model contains a pair of Docentric template and report-specific DSP class for each supported report. When you install this model and check the Docentric report setup, you will notice that the matching DSP class is automatically set in it. We will demonstrate this on the example of purchase order report. We see here that the dots purchase purchase order report DSP class is selected. While it is so, we can check the placeholder list and we see a number of custom placeholders like purchase ID, vendor account ID, delivery name, and so on. They were all implemented in this DSP class. If we now change the selected DSP class, and set the default DSP class, which doesn't implement any placeholders, we will see that there isn't any custom placeholder in this list. From this, you understand that if you need additional custom placeholders, you also need a developer. But don't worry, we also support the user-defined placeholders where you can cover most of the requirements without coding. Check the next video in this series to learn more about the user-defined placeholders. Let's apply some of the custom placeholders and see them in action. Let's first do the simplest possible thing, configure the docentric file print destination without any special additional target, just the basic file download. We will use the placeholders in the file name and see what happens. In the placeholder list, we can multi-select the placeholders and they appear here below in exactly the same order. So if you plan to have the file name with first purchase order number and then, for example, vendor name, I will select the two of them like this. Then I will copy them and paste them in the file name field. We need the download output file flag turned on to get the file automatically downloaded. Let's print one purchase order confirmation through print management. Here below, I see the name of the downloaded file. It contains the purchase order number and the vendor name in its name. If you want to check all the custom placeholders at once, the simplest thing is to select them all, copy and paste them in the docentric email print destination, email body. I have already prepared one such body where I've put the placeholders in this table. For the testing purpose, I set the open email before sending flag so that email message is prepared but isn't really sent, so I can open it and inspect it. Let's go and print one purchase order through print management and see that email message. We see here all our purchase order custom placeholders resolved in one place. I invite you to try the similar thing with some other report and check the results.